Now, speaking of conventions, you guys want to hear about Holiday Matsuri? Pikachu! Thank you for the subbies. All right. So because I am a forgetful bitch, and it's so funny because I was writing these down before Simba let me know. Um, uh, Simba literally texted me. is like, please write down all the stories. Please don't be a forgetful idiot. And I was like, bro, I, I, I already got my list. I've already got my list. I have a list of things, not just of Holiday Matsuri, uh, but also a list of things that happen over the holidays. You know, just, just a few little things. Land of Stars, thank you for the sub, thank you for three months. So, Holiday Matsuri. If you were there, um, a lot of stuff happened. This was my first Holiday Matsuri. Um, and, <laughs> look, I had a blast meeting the fans. Had a blast meeting the fans. My siblings got to see me at, uh, at a convention for the first time ever. They were like, it, it was really funny because like, they had no idea what conventions were like. And they saw me and they were like, hey, whose line is that? And I look at them and I go, that, that's my line. And they're like, what? <laughs> it, was, it was actually really sweet. Uh, me and Amanda did a panel together for tech support and my siblings were there. Um, and the the room was packed it went around the corner uh i don't know if they turned people away how many but you have i have an older brother and a younger sister and um and it was crazy because uh the this room they didn't put us in main events they put us in um this like side room like just one of the panel rooms and it was jam-packed like there were people standing up and stuff and it was really cool and my brother was like what the hell is going on <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my, my siblings sent pictures to my mom. Like, none of my family believe that, like, the, the insane... They're just like, oh, yes, mijito, he goes and he does the... He does the, you know, he does the conventions and it's fine. And then they see... They saw the pictures for the first time this past weekend, or, or during Holiday Matsuri. Uh, and they were like, I mean, he thought it's famoso. <laughs> So, you know, having my siblings there was super cool. And, uh, you know, it was, it was fun. So, where to start off? I feel, okay. I feel like I'll start close to the beginning. Wow, the appropriate music. So, when I got to Holiday Matsuri, it was fine, you know. I got there, and uh, I got to the hotel. They were like, all right, here you go, Mr. Saab. Here's your key to your room. And I was like, okay, thanks. I go up to my room. Uh, and I was like, okay, it was confusing because it was the, uh, Marriott World Center or whatever. And, uh, this hotel convention, it was huge. It was, it was huge, right? And I go up to my room and I was like, oh, this kind of like an apartment style. This is weird. So, cause like it had like, you know, those countertops, you know, where it's like, it like connects with the, uh, with the living room, so then it's like you can see into the kitchen and all this stuff, right? And I was like, sure, all right, whatever. Uh, and then when I try to go into the bedroom, there's a bed just covering the doorway. Like, I'm not kidding, it's just sideways. And I was like, hmm. Is this a... Is this is just... Is this just the new style of layout? You know, like that was that was my thought process, and I, and then I peek inside, and I was like, oh no! It almost looked like the room was trashed a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> it almost looked like I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like there was a lamp turned upside down, the chair was thrown. Like I was like, what is okay? So I texted guest relations and I was like, hey, um, so you're not going to believe this, but there's a door, there's a bed blocking my door. And uh, they were like, well, what do you mean? And I was like, well, well, um, here, let me just show you. 
I sent him a picture. I'm trying to pull it up right now, chat. Uh, I, I'm an idiot and I post a lot on Twitter. So just give me a second. Uh, but yeah, I, I sent the lovely guest relations a picture of, uh, I found it, of what my, what my room looked like. And, uh, it looked a little something like that. Yeah, you know, just, just a, just a bed blocking the door. No big, no big deal. <laughs> so, I will give them this. They were like, oh my god, I am so sorry. We will fix this so fast. And they did. They fixed it real quick. I got a room literally within like 10 minutes. Like a brand new room. The new room they gave me was a suite. When I say this, like, it looked like office meetings were held there. For some reason, there were... There were two couches, like, back to back. They weren't even, like, facing the same direction. There was a conference table, three televisions for some unnecessary reason. Like, there was a TV in front of the couch. There was a TV in front of the conference room. And then there was a TV in front of the bed. And I'm like, who the fuck? Like, what is going on? Like, what, what, what the fuck are we doing here? <laughs> and, and I was like, I, I mean... All right, sure, what, whatever. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I only used one of the televisions. If you, you know, yeah, didn't use the couch. If anything, I placed the, my, my backpack on the couch. So, uh, but yeah, that was, that was how the weekend, that was day zero. Because that wasn't even first day of the con, that was day zero. That was the night before I got, uh, I, the convention started. So... We're off to a great start. Now, they did tell me, it's like, hey, you're going to have a handler. You're going to have, like, all this stuff. They're going to meet you in the morning, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, sure. For those of you who don't know, a handler uh, is someone who helps you out. He's uh, They're like your assistant, right? If you're a guest, uh, they, you, they will usually, the convention will usually assign you someone to help you out, like a volunteer or an employee of theirs. It depends on the convention. Everyone is different. Like, every convention is different. Uh, and they will be the ones to be like, hey, this is where you need to go at this time. Hey, like this thing is happening. Do you need any water? I'll take you to the green room. Like blah, 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 blah. Like that's, that's usually what happens with the convention, right? Holy shit. Sorry. Holy shit, bro. Sorry. Uh, Amanda just sent me something really cool. Uh, my favorite is the last one. But the second one is dope too. Is dope too. Okay. Uh, anyway. And yes, Monarch. Anyway, back to the story. So, Handler, right? They told me all that stuff. Blah, 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 blah. Day one of the convention. Day one of the convention. Uh, it was me, speaking of the devil, Monarch. Um, and Eric Limbeck. We were all waiting in the lobby and we're like, where do we go? Hmm. Like, where do we go? And, uh, oh, no. no one told us. I contacted guest relations and to this day, to this day, they have not responded to me. The same person that within 10 minutes got me that room hasn't responded to me at all. Like, not even with, like, an apology or nothing after the... I can't even say weekend because it was during the week. That was another thing. Um, uh, yeah. Holiday Matsuri was Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. No, sorry. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. My bad. I got there Tuesday. But, yeah. We had no idea where to go. Thankfully, uh, our friend Danica, who was helping out Erica, was like, I'll get some answers. I'll get to the bottom of this. Goes upstairs. Goes to the... Goes to, like, the HQ or whatever. At HQ for the convention where they're all like manning everything and they get uh uh, uh someone who was actually a, a previous handler of mine but he was helping out with the cons he was like head of uh coordination or something like scheduling his name was Gavin and shout out to Gavin because he led us to where, exactly where we needed to go um yeah so we were 30 minutes late we were 30 minutes late to our <laughs> to our signings because we didn't know where to go. <laughs> so we <laughs> Oh man. 
I'm sorry but with the boo music in the background and you talking about the hotel, I mm -hmm. thought of Luigi's Mansion. Good. King Boo would definitely move your bed to mess with you. Anyway, Happy New Year, Sayu. We love you. Oh, well, thank you. But yes, we made it there. We started 30 minutes late because we needed to set up. We need to put out our prints. We need to put up the banner. We need to do all the things. I'm disappointed in myself for missing the stream on March 13th. March 13th? Final verdict. Oh, March 13th? Oh, no. I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> March 13th? I don't remember what happened a week ago. Why do you think I have a list? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. So. So. Show up 30 minutes late. First day. It was fine. You know, that was the only mishap. You know, we had to, uh, we had to sign all day. And it was fine. Everybody was lovely. The line was super long, which always shocks me. Uh, because for me, I'm, I'm still not used to that. Like, people are like, yeah, well, you're famous. And I was like, look, I'm trying to stay humble. All right. <laughs> um, I'm trying to stay humble, but also just like, um, I don't want to make it an expectation. You know, like, I, I just want to. I'm just exactly I'm just a goofball I'm just I'm just an idiot you know and I like meeting fans and all that stuff so whatever first day went fine the second day second day was the day Monarch and I were supposed to have a panel right we are supposed to have our like uh how VTuber or how voice actors become VTubers or something and this is where the disorganization came in oh I forgot one thing about day one my handler, the person who was supposed to help me, right? Uh, their name was Matt. They killed it. They were absolutely wonderful. Um, and they were pretty much on my side with the disorganization. <laughs> they, uh, he was lovely. And he, um, he was waiting for me at the table. And I was like, oh, hey. And I was like, hey, how's it going? I'm Matt. And I was like, hey, I'm, I'm Alejandro. And um, Matt told me it's like so you don't have one of these do you and i was like no they told me they were going to give me one and he's like well great this has all the information you needed to contact me i'm so sorry about that and i was like oh well thank you matt i appreciate it and then it also had my schedule and all this other stuff like it had like what panels i had to do and all this other thing but matt was super cool super chill and he was super fun um <laughs> back to day two day two so on the list, on the sheet of paper, like I like to check like a few days before what I'm going to be doing, like panels wise and that kind of thing. And I remember my panel with Amanda, AKA Monarch, was supposed to be at three o'clock, right? And I was like, okay, cool. My siblings are supposed to show up at two. Um, you know, uh, I'll take an hour break then. And then I'll have time to hang out with them and then do the panel and then get back to signing. That was my plan. Without telling either Amanda or myself, they chose to change the time of the panel. They changed it to four o'clock. And I was like, huh, weird. Okay, um, I'll take a two hour break then. <laughs> I'll take a two hour break. That's what I told myself. Uh, the pan, the, the hall, it supposedly closed at seven, right? It, it turned out. So what happened was we were technically supposed to be done signing at seven o'clock, right? But the hall closed at eight. So I was like, okay, I'll take a two hour break. The panel will be at four. We finish at five. I'll sign again at 530. Should be done by seven. Easy. So me and Amanda are chilling. Amanda at this time didn't even know they delayed our panel. Um and uh <laughs> then a few hours in uh it's two o'clock i'm about to take my break and i get told that my panel has gotten delayed again to 4 30. and i'm like oh no what and like yeah they, they moved it around and i was like and i was getting pissed <laughs> not at matt mind you matt the whole time he's like i'm so sorry and i was like you don't have to apologize <laughs> you're fine matt <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and basically, I let Amanda know. I was like, hey, did you know they delayed our panel? And she's like, what? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> they delayed our panel to 4.30. So I was like, okay, well, 
this is kind of bullshit. Because I started taking a break at like 1.40 as soon as I finished the line. I finished the line, I met my siblings, and I told them, I was like, hey, so this is what's going to happen. I'm going to go Sucks back. For two months. Hey, thank you for the two months. It's fun watching your streams. Looking forward to your content for next Hey, well, thank year. you, Chaos. Uh, so, I, I tell my siblings, I was like, hey, I'm going to go back to signing at 3.30 so then I can get through some people until our panel. So I was going to sign from 3.30 to 4.20. Yes. Ha 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 ha. So that's what happened. Uh, and I did that. And then at 4.20, I was like, hey, we got to go to the panel. We go to the panel. The panel went great. Um, and then uh, when we got back to signing. Sorry, typo. Oh. December 13th. Oh. Final verdict on Monarch Datable. Oh, watch the clip. <laughs> um, thank you for the 100 biddies. Also, okay. We did the panel. Panel went great. It was super funny. Uh, people had me do the Jingyu Wen voice on the panel. And I didn't want to do it. But then I got peer pressured. Peer pressure is real. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. I got peer pressured into doing the voice. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, um, panel went great. I go back and my siblings see the line. And the line was wrapping around and stuff. And they were like... We're going to let you get to the sign. We'll hang out later. And I was like, yeah. Uh, I didn't feel too bad about not being able to hang out with my siblings that much. One year. Um, thank you for the one year. Um, because we literally went to Disney. We, we went to Disney later in the week. So that's fine. So uh, I'm signing. And I remember on the way to the panel, they wanted me to do a live stream of some sort. Uh, like, just do a, like, guess who's a Honkai fan or something. And I told, and they're like, hey, we're, it, it, like, one of their staff members was like, hey, we're really sorry about the delays. And, uh, and I was like, I just don't like the lack of communication. And they're like, yeah, we're really sorry about that. Um, is there anything we can do? And I was like, and I told them, I was like, hey, I'm supposed to be doing this live stream thing at, like, 7. I'm telling you right now, I will not be doing that uh, if I have people waiting in line for me. And they're like, oh, yes, we understand. They didn't understand because they asked me two more times. I literally had one of the, the same guy asked me again. Uh, they asked me, it's like, hey, are you sure you're not going to? I'm like, I look at him and I look at the line. It is now 530 and this thing was at seven. I, I was like, if I'm not done with this, I'm not doing it. And then it gets closer. It's like 630 now. And uh, Danny Chambers was there. I love Danny. Her handler, kind of hit or miss. <laughs> he was a little bit rude to me one time. He did the, this is the Navy conversation, see yourself out when I was asking about Danny because apparently Danny wasn't feeling well. She ended up being fine, but I was like, Danny's not feeling well. And it's like, this is an AB. And, I, and then he became nosy to me. He was like, oh, well this thing. I was like, no, no, don't you fucking chime into my conversation. Anyway. That guy pissed me off a bit. I was like, what the fuck? You can't this a two-way street, my guy. See yourself out, fucking dickhead. Anyway, that's beside the point. He was the least <laughs> dumb shit that happened to me. Anyway, um, so he asks me, hey, are you going to do? And I was like, no, I'm not going to. It's 630 and the line is still going. Chat, I finished signing everybody's stuff that day at like 810. They let people stay who after they had closed the hall. Because the hall closed at 8 o'clock. I was there signing from 5.30 to like 8.10. Just so I could get through everybody. That's not me flexing. That's not me flexing. That's just me stating what happened. <laughs> um, And I, I'm just like, I'm just like, this is really sweet. I'm exhausted. This con is disorganized. Um, And then, yeah. Um... So I didn't do that live stream thing. Um, at this point, I still had not been reached out by guest relations, by the way. Moraxi, thank you for the raid. Welcome, Raiders. I'm just doing some story time right now because we got a lot to get through. Um, so yeah, uh, that happened. Hey, see you. I'm on my break at work. Have a happy new year. Oh, well, thank you for the sub. You too. Uh, but yeah, that, um, that happened. Um, have some skitty bitties. Thank you for the skitty bitties. So, yeah, were your hands okay? Yeah, my, honestly, my shoulder is the thing that killed me more than anything. Um, 
Yeah. Also, one thing I should add. So before the convention started, they sent us these forms, right? Be like, hey, what are your dietary restrictions? What are you wanting to eat? Like, blah, blah, blah. Supposedly, because I never got one. Um, yeah, I never got one. So when they asked me, they were like, hey, uh, I went to the green room to get lunch. And they're like, you're not on the list. And I was like, okay, well, I'm a guest. I, I don't know what you want from me. And they're like, um, okay, well, write your name down. And I was like, okay. They told me to come here. I could just buy food. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, it was just really funny how I wasn't on their list any days, of the, uh, any of those three days. They saw me all three days and they were like, oh, yes. <laughs> it was an honest mistake. The food, I didn't mind. Like, I was like, that's fine. Whatever. Like, I don't care. I was more pissed at the disorganization of it all or the lack of communication more than anything. Um, yeah, yeah, it was, it was crazy. So the last day, the last day I show up, I sign stuff and I'm signing there all day. Like that's, that's the plan. I was in no rush because I didn't have to fly out that day. I was literally chilling. Uh, I didn't have to fly out because I was going to Disney with my siblings and we were in Orlando. Um, and yeah, so I was signing all day. You know, most of the people were cool. There was one guy, technically two guys, two guys. One was a mega fan, you know, he was cool. Uh, his name was Sam. He was chill. Oh, I'm a big fan of yours. His brother. His brother was kind of a dick. <laughs> Uh, Sam, if you're watching this, no offense to you, my guy. And you and you could easily tell that I was getting frustrated. Uh, but your brother... I, mind you, his brother was like a teenager, I'm sure. Like one of those tall teenagers. He had to have been like 16, right? And, um, you know... Now, mind you, the thing that... Uh, <laughs> he, he... Here's what happened. Uh, it's like, I don't know any of these roles, right? Like any of the characters you voice. And I was like, that's fine. That happens. That's totally fair. Especially because he was here with his brother who Sam was the fan, right? Um, then his brother interrupting, interrupting Sam goes, Hey, do a voice, do an impression. Uh, and I was like, well, I don't do impressions. I, I voice these characters. And he's like, well, do an impression, do one. And I was like, well, you got to tell me which one. And it's like, I don't know. I don't know any of these characters. And I was like, well, those are the ones I voice, guy. And then it's like, do an impression of Naruto. And I was like, no, that's, <laughs> that's not how that works. And he goes, why not do an impression? And I go, I don't know, bro. Like, that's not how this works. <laughs> like, I start raising my voice. And Sam goes, and Sam goes, I I'm really sorry about him. Uh, I, I, uh, <clears throat> oh he, no, he, he, he just, just doesn't know. And, and I was like, it's fine, man. Like, and I was like, calm down. I was like, Jesus. Um, yeah, Sam, what would you like? And then we just talked for a second. Then and he left and then they walked away and I look at Matt and I was like, what the fuck was his problem? <laughs> <laughs> Because I literally I told them his brother how long he's been method acting as an idiot. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like I have to maintain professionalism, right? But th th like he was getting heated. And he's like, well, why not? Do it. And I was like, the fuck you mean do Does it? Does his brother have voice request? Was that the bite of 87? Money? Does his brother have voice request money? No, because they only came up to talk to me. And even then. I don't mind talking to people. Here's the thing, chat. You don't have to come up to me and just be like, I want to spend money. You can just come up to me and we can talk. That's totally fine. I like doing that at conventions, especially if we have an interesting conversation. That's totally fine. But this guy was getting heated. He's like, well, why not? Why, why can't you do a Naruto impression? And I was like, because that's a woman. My voice doesn't get there. I was like, you know Naruto is voiced by a woman, right? And he goes, what? <laughs> I was like, oh, you don't know? So, yeah. Do, Sam Energy has do the role. So, funny enough, you say that, Monarch said the same thing. <laughs> I, I literally... 
But yeah. Hi, see you. My family is going through hard time. Oh, I'm Wish sorry. Wish us luck and happy new year. Less than three, less than three, less Good than luck three, to you and your family, three, lady. Less than three. Less than three. But yeah, um, that happened. I've never had that happen before, I will say. It's very interesting. Like, I've had people be, be like, oh, can you do an impression of uh, this character? And it's like a character I voice. And I'll be like, oh, okay. Like, it's just how you were. That's how you learned that it's, sure, I, I can, yeah. But like, you know what I mean? Um, but like, no one's ever gotten heated about it. And I've also never reciprocated with heat. Like, I've never been like, well, what do you want me to do, bro? <laughs> and I was like, Jesus, what happened to me? Whoa, whoa, <laughs> Florida is getting to me. Whoa. <laughs> I feel like that might, look, growing up in Florida, for those of you who don't know, I grew up in Miami. Uh, I, when I, <laughs> when I talked with Sam's brother, I was like, only at Florida cons, only at Florida cons. <laughs> <laughs> There's just something about Florida, man. It just brings out, it just brings out the anger in people. I don't know if it's the humidity. I don't know if it's the Everglades. Like, you know what I mean? Anyway, Sam was cool. His brother wasn't. Um, so yeah. I'm sorry, Sam. You were great to talk to. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. So me. Okay. So I have a few more stories. So this one's a little more fun. And I already know what Sylvie is going to say. Here, let me, let me actually change the music for this. Hold on. Okay. So, there were three fans that asked me questions. They asked me two specific questions. So, oh no. I have recently started playing Baldur's Gate again. I specifically chose to wait until I was in Miami to play it, and I literally played it till 4 a.m. almost every night. It was super fun. There were some parts that were getting me frustrated. I'm enjoying Baldur's Gate. Um, but yeah, yeah, uh, I, I'm enjoying it, right? So, so for those of you who don't know, in Baldur's Gate, there are these things called Mind Flayers, right? They're introduced at the very beginning of the game. They're these tentacle octopus looking people, you know, whatever. Um, and yeah, you know. Uh, and if you don't know, in the game, you can... Uh, smash almost anything that moves that's an exaggeration obviously but you know you can you can smash a lot of things and i got asked not about a mind flare specifically i got asked would i smash a thing called the emperor mind flare don't even know haven't met him got spoiled that's fine not a big deal the king of the mind flares and i was like what what? Now, before I could answer, before I could answer, they hit me with another one. They hit me with the biggest curveball of my fucking life. <laughs> Had nothing to do with Baldur's Gate. They asked me, have you played Lethal Company? And I did not like where this conversation was going. They asked me, so the Bracken, and I was like, there is no fucking way there is no conceivable oh, no. way you are asking me if I would smash the bracket. There is no way. There is no fucking way. I asked Monarch, because because Amanda was sitting right next to me. Sylvie, you don't have to answer, because I already know your answers. I went over to Amanda, and I was like, Amanda! Mind you, I'm an asshole, by the way, because I'm interrupting a conversation Amanda's having with a fan. So if you were that fan, I'm sorry, but hey, you got a funny interaction? Question mark? I saw you laughing, so maybe you liked it. Uh, you did chime in, so I again, I'm sorry for interrupting. I asked Amanda. Amanda! You, you've played Baldur's Gate. Yeah. The Mind Flare Emperor. Oh, yeah. Smash or pass? And they're like, oh, is a smash. And I was like, oh, you're a freak. And, and then, then, <laughs> and I ask him about the Bracken, and she's like, oh, yeah, smash. And I was like, oh, hell no. And I hit them with this. Now, here's the thing. I could understand the Mind Flayer more than the Bracken. The Mind Flayer, I get. I get 
to an extent, right? But the Bracken? The Bracken? Blah. She looks at me and goes, Come on, Sai. You gotta be a little adventurous. Come on, Sai. And I was like, The Bracken snaps your neck. And she goes, Oh, yeah. Yeah, you do. And I was like, What the fuck is what? You're a fucking what? It doesn't end there. I called Hayden that night. And I asked them. And they gave me the same goddamn answer. They were like, smash both. And I was like, there's no fucking way. <laughs> so yeah. Um, Lamal the Bracken gonna be into glow sticking. I said pass on both, but honestly, if I were to choose between the two, it'd be the Mind Flare Emperor over the Bracken. The Bracken is a plant! It's a fucking plant! <laughs> it's a plant! <laughs> so is Vash the Stampede. Now, hold on a second. You might actually have a point. Wait. I didn't think about this. <laughs> hold on a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> Wait, Poison Ivy doesn't count as a plant, right? Poison Ivy was a human, and then... And then... And then... Hmm. Hold on a second. <laughs> also, look at Vash. That is true. Does it matter? Yes. 100%. The point is... Um... I feel like I didn't need to do two different Smasher Pass streams. One with Monarch, and one with Hayden. Stop talking! And with Hayden, I feel like we need to do like the married edition. And then yeah. and then with Monarch, I need to do like a creatures edition. You! Me! Hello, that was so incredible. What did you say to the Mind Flare Emperor and the Bracken? Wood. 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 Say it again. Wood. And there you have it, chat. I'm just saying. I was telling- I I'm recounting the stories. Yeah. Yeah. And then I was saying that I need to do two Smasher Pass streams. We need to do a Smasher Pass. Oh, yeah, doing the Married Edition and then one with Amanda where it's just weird shit just to see how I weird- mean, have you- I don't know if you've seen that clip of her fucking what? talking- I don't know if you've seen that clip of her talking about like the spider dude in uh, fucking- What a freak! Oh, what a freak! Oh, like, what bro, a freak! Listen, usually I am on Monarch's side for a lot of things. I cannot fucking agree with that. I'm like, absolutely not. Get that away from me. Freak. Anyway. But I yes. Okay, I love, you. I love you. So yeah, that was the, um, yeah. I feel like Amanda would be like smash on like a pickle or some shit. Like if there was a humanoid pickle, not Rick Sanchez. Um, I feel like that, like just you throw random ass shit at Amanda and they'll be like smash. And I'll be like, what the fuck? If there was a talking tooth. If there was a talking tooth. I feel like Amanda would be like smash. Like the teeth from Shiny Teeth in Me. You know the music video? Not Chip Skylark. The teeth. In the music video, I feel like Amanda would say smash. <laughs> like if I... Hold on. <laughs> I gotta see that. <laughs> Shiny teeth in me. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna send a picture of it to Amanda and be like, would you smash? Just to, just to see what they would say. Just to, just to see. Uh, random to prove a point. To prove a point. Would you smash? I got a text message so fast. 
she said yes no she didn't would she say like it's <laughs> the tooth absolutely not huh i'm shocked <laughs> that's my response she said pass i'm shocked <laughs> <laughs> anyway anyway <laughs> all right so chat with that the convention was uh oh. so glad to see you at the convention and to show you some of my smart doll projects yeah <laughs> she goes why <laughs> Don't believe her. True. Um, so with that, that was pretty much the convention. Like, from my experience, right? Except, there was one more thing. Good show. So. Jolly good show. Hold on. They responded. I thought you would. <laughs> anyway. Um, from my perspective. But there was one more thing that happened to me at that con. So the con was over. I was told that I had the room for one more night, right? And I was like, oh, okay, cool. I'll put my stuff there. I'm going to meet my siblings for some dinner, right? Going to go to like Disney Springs or whatever. Um, Let me just go put my stuff in my room. I go to the room and my key wasn't working. And I was like, hmm, I guess I must have accidentally deactivated it. Go downstairs. Uh, and they're like, okay, should be fixed. Go back upstairs. Mind you, I'm carrying a carry-on, my backpack, and a frame, because a fan gave me a frame of a hand-drawn Sino on it. And it's not like a small frame. It's like, it's a big frame. You know, and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna... <laughs> so, I'm just logging this around. Uh, and I go upstairs. And the door still doesn't work. So I go back downstairs. And I was like, hey, um, I know you guys said that my key deactivated. I don't think that's the case. And I'm like, hmm, interesting. Does the light on your door work? And I was like, what do you mean? You, when, when you tap your card, does the light appear? And I was like, no. Ah, the battery on your door died. And I was like, what? that can happen you know i never even thought about it like it makes perfect sense but i didn't think that okay, would so actually happen very often, while someone was staying in that scene. room so hmm, you know lupus thank you for the 10 month so i go back upstairs they said security would be on the way security gets in there and chat Next time you're in a hotel and you have one of those keypad doors, there should be a USB-C port of some kind, whether it's USB-C or one of those very specific USB slots, under the doorknob. Like, it's a very slim port, but that's how you can charge that. And they were charging the door. Like, they opened it up for me so I could put my stuff down. I turned on the lights. I got to at least, you know. So I waited until they charged the door. And, uh... And it was good. It was fixed. But wow. What a way to end this convention. Hi. The door was not working. Hina, thank you for the sub. And I was like, golly. Like, never did I think my door would just die. What a, what a, what a show. So again, meeting the fans was fantastic. The panel was super fun. Uh, Torshi and Mexi, think of the subs. Um, but man, between the bed, the door, and how disorganized the con was, I was like, this is crazy. Now, I will say one thing. This con was Wednesday through Friday, and that's because apparently this was the last year that this convention was being held at this location. Oh, you gotta switch models. Oh my god, I accidentally switched and No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, but yes, it, it is oh, the was fucking crazy, hey, but it was long nice. script. The nails I made are hung up with my print. Hell yeah. Yeah, that was actually really sick. Uh, lone script made, uh, I believe, uh, the nails with 
my my VTuber and Monarch's VTuber on him. It was it was actually gnarly. Um, so yeah, um, this is the last year that they're having it at that location. And um, yeah. Now here's the the little more serious part, which I didn't experience until after the convention. And I was like, what? So, I didn't experience this. It apparently, it apparently did happen to some people. Um, but I just wanted to let it be known. This shit did happen. Um, apparently, people uh, were unfortunately roofied at the convention. Um, basically drugged. And I was like, what? None of the guests found out about this until like the end of the show. And it seems like a lot of fans didn't find out about it. And the, the craziest part is the convention didn't say anything until like a day or two after the event was over. It was just weird. It was weirdly handled. Thankfully, Simba told me that it was it was brought up in my discord to the folks who were there so Yeah, yeah, it was apparently in some of the drinking water that the con was supplying uh, I don't know if it was like I don't think it was water bottles I think it was like in one of those like big, you know, like the canteens where you could just like press a little knob shit and then you know um yeah, apparently they also it, like there's like a bunch of stuff that I don't know how how much of it is true or what happened, but I was like, wow. Um, yeah, it seemed like a lot of people had called them out, but I was like, wow. Um, man, I, if the convention happens next year, just just be very careful. Uh, this was holiday Matsudi. Um, just be very careful. Uh, drink water bottles. Um, who did this? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, they have a whole statement on Instagram. People have talked about it on like Twitter and Instagram and stuff, but yeah, just bring your own drink. Get, get, get yourself water bottles. Did people die from it? No, uh, from my understanding, but people did go to the ER, uh, from what I read. Again, this is only stuff I read, but I just, I just want to let you know, guys, if you're going to a convention... This is, uh, Holiday Matsuri was considered a party con, so just, just, just be careful. Just, even though you're having a lot of fun, just be aware that there are people who are not kind or safe or good out there. So just, just, just be aware, you know, be careful. That's all. That's the reason I wanted to bring it up, you know. Like, cons can be a lot of fun, but there are also dickheads that will try to take advantage of that. So, yeah. that That's one of the reasons I wanted to bring it up. So, yeah. I It, it was it was a lot of fun for me, but I also didn't have to... I also don't party, <laughs> you know? I, I literally, like, I'm done with the day. I either hang out with friends or I stay in my room. Like, that's, that's usually what I do at conventions. So, yeah. So yeah, um, don't take open food from strangers either. Yeah, for sure. I have not. It's me. Okay. Um, what else? Okay. I got like two more things to talk about. They're, they're funny. They're funny. At least. I think they are. Hold on. What did I write down? Oh, okay. I'll tell this one and then I'll tell the last one. Okay. So. <laughs> God. I went to the movie theater. Hold on. Let me change the song. Yep. Oh, my God. Can I get a longer song, please? Thank you. All right. <laughs> so. In Miami. Well, I was there. Just chilling with my family. Um, I went to the movie theater. I went to watch the movie Iron Claw, 
which was the one with Zac Efron, and it's like somewhat of a biopic. It's about these wrestlers, the... I, I already forgot the name of them. Um, uh, it, it was a really good movie. I do not recommend it if you are if you are sad and you deal with narcissists in your family. It, it's a very fucked up movie, but it is a fantastic movie. Yeah, the Von Erics. I want to say the Von Ericsons, but I was like, that's not right. Um, it was fantastic. I thought it was very well done. And this is, um, this movie made me realize I love my dad. I'm never going to a movie theater with my dad again. <laughs> this movie, it was, it, we weren't the only people in the theater. Thank you for the prime, right? There were like maybe 20 people in the movie theater. I was like, you know, decent amount of people, it's fine. Uh, but four of those people were myself, my brother, my sister, and my dad. My dad, he didn't fall asleep. You know, I would have preferred if he fell asleep. So my dad was, he, he even told us before we watched the movie, he was like, hey, I'm gonna be honest. I haven't been to a movie theater in like, since before COVID. I was like, oh, don't worry, it'll be fine. It'll be fun and we'll, we'll get some popcorn, it'll be chill. I'm like, cool. Here we go. We're watching the movie. The movie is a bit of a slow start, right? You know, it's that makes sense. You're setting up the character, setting up life, setting up like all the highs and what their goals are, all that thing. And my dad is on his phone half the time. Mind you, at first he was just like looking through Twitter or whatever, texting. We're like, okay. <laughs> I'm enjoying the movie. I'm trying not to get distracted. And he goes down to like go to the bathroom. He does this a few times and I was like, okay, weird, but whatever. Didn't realize he had to go to the bathroom so often. Uh, thank you, Kethar, for the prime. <laughs> We're like now maybe an hour and 40 into the movie. This movie is a bit long. It's like two hours and 30, I think, you know, especially for these biopics, but I, I was enjoying my time. You know, I was very fascinated and interested, you know, uh, and then he gets a phone call. It's a phone call. And you know, the normal thing to do is like, hang up, send a text, be like, hey, I'm in the movies. My guy answers the phone. <laughs> it's not just that his phone goes off. He answers the phone in the movie. Theater. <laughs> and I look at him and I'm like, hey, yo. <laughs> and he's like, hola, que pasa? Ah, si, si. No, 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 estoy en una película ahorita. Which is basically, yes, hello, I'm at the movies right now. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And he's just talking. And I think my sister said something. Because my sister was sitting next to him. And he hangs up. Now, mind you, around the theater, there were, like, a bunch of other noises. Because, like, you know, Florida. Uh, like, someone's radio. Someone had a radio in there. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, okay. So, the movie ends. The movie, sorry, the movie isn't over yet. The credits are rolling and they're writing the text. It's like so and so of the Ericsons, you know, the Eric's, uh, you know, like this, 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 this. They're giving us the epilogue and showing us the picture. Before the movie was rolling the credits, the lights came on. The lights came on and these fucking employees just start cleaning. We are still seated down, dude. I'm like, hey, we haven't gotten up. And they're like sweeping and and they're waiting. <laughs> they're waiting for us at the end of the aisle. I'm like, I guess we should leave. <laughs> By the time we got to the last step, that's when the credits started rolling. We leave the we leave the theater. And I look at my brother and I was like, this is a Miami thing, right? And he's like, yeah, I've never. <laughs> Cause we went to Regal. I haven't gone to a Regal Cinema in years, right? Because normally I go to AMC or, you know, there's a Sinopolis or whatever. Uh, you know, sometimes Alamo Draft House, you know, change it up. But Regal Theater, like, I remember I was like, okay, this isn't normal. My brother has been to Regal way more than I have in recent times. And he goes like, yeah, no, this is a Miami thing. <laughs> I was like, I, I guess. <laughs> They kicked us out of the fucking theater before we finished. And as we're walking out, my dad was like, I didn't like it. And we're like, didn't like it? You didn't watch it. 
<laughs> he's like, what are you talking about? It just didn't, maybe I gotta watch for a moment. And I, we're like, dog, you were on your phone. You were texting. Of, you walked out three times. Of course you didn't fucking like the movie. You didn't even know what the movie was about. He's like, I just don't get it. And it was like, it was about a manipulative father who's toxic to his kids. And then his kid, only one of the kids learns about how toxic his I dad actually it. is. <laughs> Safe to say he didn't like the movie. So, um, yeah. It's a good movie though. Also, pff, my brother likes to tease. But when my dad teases, he likes to chime in. They were teasing my sister because my sister cried in the movie. It's a very sad movie. And I defended my sister. I was like, hey, yo, like, it's, you can cry. God forbid you have fucking emotion. And my sister's like, thank you. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, moral of the story that I learned. I am never going to a movie theater with my dad. Again. Because, <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> the craziest part was, I wasn't even going to talk about this one. The craziest part was, like a day or two before that, we watched, and I've never seen this movie, we watched The Holiday. I had never watched it. I had never watched it. It's a movie with Jack Black and uh, it was Jude Law, um, the girl from Titanic, and Cameron Diaz. Uh, and it's weird it is such a product of its time like 2006 cliche borderline hallmark movie and i enjoyed it it was it was fine it was cheesy it was whatever um it's not for everybody my dad and my brother were not a fan of it but i think the funniest thing that happened about that movie my sister was the one that put it on my sister fell asleep within the first five minutes of us watching the fucking movie. So we're sitting there watching this movie and my sister's knocked the fuck out when she put it on. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Would I, would I watch it again? Probably not. Um, so yeah, that was funny. That was, that was very funny. All right, I got one last story. One final story th that happened to me this past 11 days. It was Christmas Day. And I haven't done this in 10 years. And I don't condone this, but it's it was a special occasion. I was like, fuck it. I'll try it out. See what happens. I didn't think it would happen. I didn't think it would happen, chat. But I got drunk. <laughs> I got drunk. I haven't been drunk in like 10 years. Um, Because here's the thing. I didn't throw up. I didn't throw up. I was totally fine. It was my choice. I was okay. Uh, I, <laughs> I, for the last 10 years, if not like 11 years, have had a problem with drinking because when I was in high school, I, I was a sophomore and, or yeah, I was a sophomore. Oh no. And I got drunk so bad. Like I drank so bad at one party that I threw up three times the next day and my body remembered that. It was bad. It was, it was bad. Like I had multiple shots of like vodka, like Patron. Uh, I had, I had stolen beer from people. I played beer pong and, and it was bad. And I hid it from my parents for like seven of those years until one day in New York when we were at, when I think I was 25 or something. I told my dad, I, I told my mom and dad on my brother's birthday or something. I was like, yeah, I got drunk. <laughs> And they were like, oh, okay. Yo. My mom called me dañado, which is, dañado is like damaged or broken. Hello, dañado, you're broken. <laughs> <laughs> and this was years ago. Now, I want to let you guys know, 
Uh, what are we doing? The Twitch meta? Like, what the hell's going on here? Now, I want to let you guys know. Um, this past... So, how did I get drunk? First of all, I... I literally only had one type of, um, alcohol. Well, mainly. Mainly. And it was soju. For those of you who don't know, soju isn't very strong. I actually am not a fan of eggnog. I don't like beer. Beer, I think, tastes like crap. Um, and I was like, you know what? I realized recently I can have a soju and be fine. Or sake. Like, those are usually the ones that I'm okay. Um... Here's, here's the thing. Soju, you can't really, you know, taste the alcohol that much. It's like very minimal, you know? It's easy, you know? And they're usually flavored. I will let you guys know right now, never have watermelon soju. Watermelon soju tastes awful. It, it literally tasted like a year-old Tootsie Roll. Disgusting. It was on a different category. I feel like the best soju that I had was either peach or uh, pineapple. Pineapple was amazing. That was my personal favorite. But, uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, so... <laughs> how I got drunk. My brother and I, Christmas Day, were like, Hey, you know what we should do? We should do a drinking game. And I was like, oh god. And he goes, we should watch Elf and do a drinking game and i was like bet i'll do it he's like really and i was like yeah fuck it it's christmas why not <laughs> we were with my sister's boyfriend too his name was armand and we're all playing right we laid down some ground rules you know we saw a an elf drinking game online and i was like whatever it's a little dangerous um but you're supposed to take sips me and my brother did not do that um we thought whenever the word Santa, Elf, or Christmas Spirit was said, we had to drink, no matter who it was. It was a minute into the movie, and me and my brother had already taken three shots. Oh, no. And then our mom tells us, no, no, no. It's when Buddy says Elf, Santa, or... And we're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> we also hadn't eaten in a few hours. Um, so, start off getting real tipsy, but like, I was fine. We did not finish the movie. <laughs> I thought we got an hour and like 10 oh, minutes no. into the movie. Nah, we, we got, we got 40 minutes into the movie and I, I was, I was, I was tipsy and drunk. Yeah. Apparently, there are things that happened uh, that I don't remember. <laughs> I wasn't, like, blacked out or anything. Like, I vaguely remember some things. But uh, I was like, I don't remember that. I don't remember that either. Uh, like, I told at one point, um, at Disney, my brother had taught Armand, my sister's boyfriend, this phrase. It's called, it's come pinga. Which is basically eat a dick. Or dick eater. You're right. I'm a pinga, right? At one point, I was in the hammock, and my dad walked up to me. I was like, Dad, 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 Dad. He's like, what is it, Mijito? Did you know that Mickey Mouse came up with a new phrase? And he's like, what? Yeah, it's, I'm a pinga. And I did it in a Mickey Mouse impression. <laughs> me and my brother were fucking cackling, dude. <laughs> I still think it's funny as hell. <laughs> uh, it was fun. It was fun. And I think what's even funnier is that I told, I was texting Hayden throughout most of it. And Hayden was jealous that they couldn't see a drunk version of me. Because I haven't been drunk in like 10, 11 years. Also, I got a message from Howard, Damon, and they were like, I want to see Drunk Ali. What the fuck? <laughs> and I told them all the same thing. Get me soju and maybe we'll get there. <laughs>
And with that, that's all the stories I have for you guys.